Good morning, team. Hello and happy Sunday. How are you guys? I wanted to go live real quickly because um, we haven't had someone go live in a couple of days. And also because I had a food for thought and I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm at an event in my hometown that has been put on for, I think they said 17 years. This is the 17th um, event, right? And I'm here with my full-time job. I work for Girl Scouts in uh, recruitment. So like I'm here trying to, you know, meet families and girls that want to do Girl Scouting, right? So I came out yesterday and y'all, I had to get moved from the, the, the spot I was going to be in to this spot. And so their volunteers were helping me get the stuff out of the cars and all the things. And I went to go park my car and this amazing, wonderful volunteer helped put up my tent. Well, the, that area over there, this is a new tent, that area over there was broken. So when he put up the tent, he turned around and he cut his forehead on the broken piece. Talk about embarrassing, right? Um, and so... He helped me try to tie it with like tight straps. It kept coming undone. I had to go um, meet up with my husband for an oil change. And I told him, can you bring us, can you bring me my tent so that I can bring that tent um, to my volunteer after I'm done with the oil change. So like he did the oil change. I came back, I changed out the tents, took the broken tent home, put up the nice tent, right? On my way in with this tent, my wagon broke and I'm like, what is going on? So like, it was still, I could still use it, but like one of the bolts had come off. So it was making like the wheel kind of hard to turn. So I was like, great. So, okay, get her set up, we go. And the event was to, to go till six at 4.40. She's like, hey, it's still dead. Um, I'm gonna go home and I'm like, that's fine. Just, you know, do what you gotta do, tear down the stuff um, and I'll be there in the morning. Okay, yesterday was bad. I had a couple of kids come up and get some of our like, you know, swag and stuff, cute, funny, fun stuff, but no adults. I only had one lead, one lead, right? So I'm talking to the vendors next to me and they've had a couple of sales, but nothing, you know, nothing humongous. Um, I really hit it off with the lady that was next to me yesterday. She does her own soaps and she was like, I kind of broke even with the cost of day, but I didn't make as much as I thought I would because you know people have hyped this event up so then last night I was like do I even show up the next day but this is my job so I feel like I have to right so I show up this morning and I get here bright and early I stop and get my coffee um thanks Ashton for the recipe um and I get here at nine because that's what the time the lady told me to be here and I'm like there's no one here so I go and ask, and they're like, oh no, the event doesn't start till 11. Just nine o'clock is when vendors can start coming in. Y'all, I have nothing to set up. Like, I literally just have like collateral, right? So like, I'm like set up in like five minutes. So I'm like, okay, well I have two hours to just kill, right? And you can sit there and say like, why show up, right? Like you had a bad day, like, but because it's my job, we feel like we have to, right? Because my boss, because like, I don't want my boss to get mad. I don't want them to be like, oh, like, you know, you wasted this time, yada, yada. So we show up, right? Why don't we do that in our business? Why is it that when we have a bad day, we're ready to just throw in the towel? I don't want to do this anymore. This is too hard. It's not for me. And you guys will hear, have, hear me say that over and over because I hear it all the time. You have a bad day. You have a, a, an event that you went to that didn't sell enough. Oh, events are not for me. Oh, since he's not for me. Oh, I just don't know what I'm doing. You have a conversation with someone and they say no and you're like, oh, it's just, you see, I, I don't know. Like, I just don't get customers. Why is it that we show up after a bad day at work to work, but we don't show up after a bad day in our business to our business. At the end of the day, there's bad days in everything. 
There's bad days when you volunteer. There's bad days in your marriage. There's bad days as a parent. There's bad days as a friend. But we continue to show up for those things. So if you have a bad day in your business, it's okay to feel the way you feel. I have been there. I have been where I want to throw in the towel. I will never forget the time that I was in my office and my kids were very little. My kids shared a room at a time, so I had my office in the back room. And I called my husband in and I just laid in his lap and I cried. And I cried and I cried and I said, I have no idea how to pick my business up right now. Like, I don't know what to do. I could have quit. I could have thrown in the towel. I could have said it's not for me, but I didn't. And in one way or another, whether you're my direct front line or you're under someone that I personally sponsored, you might not have found Sensi if I would have thrown in the towel that day. You might not have had the opportunity because maybe someone on our team that I had a conversation with and they had the conversation with you and so on and so on, right? So instead of throwing in the towel, instead of quitting, think how can I turn this day around so that in the long run I can bless other people? That I can bless a mom that needs a business, a woman that needs a business, a man that needs a business, right? Because this business is not only for women, it's not only for moms, it's, it could be for a dad, it could be for a man, it could be for a teenager, or not, well not a teenager, but like a young adult, it could be for an elderly um, adult, it could be for anyone that needs something. So when you have a bad day, have your feels, reach out to someone, whether it be your sponsor, the team page, a friend, talk your feelings out, shake it off, and then show up the next day. Your business will thank you for it. Your team will thank you for it. And your customers will thank you for it. And if you have little ones watching, whether they're your own kids or nieces, nephews, siblings, they'll thank you for it because you're gonna be a role model to them when they face adversity and they can pick themselves up again and keep going, okay? So, like always, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.